I think I think there's all types of you know athletes and <clears throat> student athletes that come to Division three schools. You know, one of the things um, you know we pride ourselves in kind of competitive excellence is one of the pillars of our program. And um, you know, I think what what that really means is our coaches are actually competing with small Division one and Division two schools um, for recruits, and so. For us to be able to compete uh, at a national level, which is really our goal um, for our programs, um, that's what we have to do. And so we've got to be, um, you know, providing alternatives for students um, that they want to do it. And so, you know, I had a student in my office this week um, that said, hey, I had a bunch of offers to D1 schools. I didn't want them to kind of own me. Um, or, or control every aspect of my life, but I did want to compete at a high level um, and I wanted to have a chance to win a national championship. And so that's why I came to Hope. And so I think, I think there's definitely opportunities out there. I think the interesting piece, um, you know, for us is being a division three and, and focused on, you know, other opportunities besides just athletics you know, allows them to be engaged in the entire, um, you know, campus life and all that's going on while still competing for national championships and um, attaining, you know, high level academics and, or I mean, athletics. And so that's, that's really what our goal is. And, and uh, obviously our best teams are, are uh, doing pretty well at, uh, at uh, recruiting uh, at that high level. And, and it shows, I think, uh, in the performance, uh, you know, by our teams. Great, thank you. So I appreciate that, Tim. So now, obviously, we're Division Three, so there's no athletic scholarships permitted. I'll talk a little bit later about what um, academic scholarships that I can offer from the admission side. But in terms of these teams, I know that we've got some extremely competitive teams for you know to even make the team. So students often hear about you know being walk, being able to walk on a team, or or maybe that there could be tryouts, or maybe there's not tryouts. Do you, do you find with our teams, um, you know, are walk-ons possible um, and, and or do they really have tryouts or does that depend on the team? Yeah, well, I think I think one of the beauties of Hope is, you know, we feel like it's a place that will transform uh, students' lives. And so when they come in as a freshman, um, they're going to walk out of here as a noticeably different person in better ways uh, when they walk across the stage. Um, you know, the tongue in cheek a little bit, I would say, yeah, like there's definitely walk-ons um, if you can play. Um, and if you're, if you're a really, uh, you know, a good player, um, I think, you know, sometimes there's this understanding that, hey, if I go to division three, uh, I'm just going to go there and ah, I just want to do it. And it's kind of like a recreational, almost an intramural type of a thing. And uh, that would not be the case. Uh, we do have some sports, uh, things like track and field, um, you know, even like swimming and diving, cross country, football on some level um, where we don't generally make cuts. Um, although, you know, with the sizes and with what our coaches are trying to do, there's some standards that have to be met, um, you know, in terms of times and things like that. Otherwise, it, it, it's not going to be possible um, to be on the team. Um, most of our other teams, you know, in basketball, volleyball, um, and we're we're running some JV teams, so we've got a little bit uh, more opportunity for uh, for a JV participation if if somebody wants to come. And and then we do always have a couple of JV kids that wind up uh, making the varsity at at some level. Um, but for the most part, um, you know, I mean, it's a it's a high level, um, and and you know, we we really we we believe really fully in the power of the and right and so uh, like we're going to try to win and we're not really kind of being apologetic for that um, and we're going to transform uh, students lives and that's really what our goal is um, is is to provide transformation and then sport is really just a piece of that transformation along with academics the spiritual um, you know the staff uh, other students that uh, that can kind of impact their life uh, for uh, you know years to come. Thanks, Tim. And you've actually prompted a number of shoot off questions from that uh, that have popped into my mind. So you talked this very last thing you talked about a little bit about support. I think um, so. Can you kind of address obviously you know athlete, athletes student athletes have this whole other sense of kind of obligation or commitment. Um, because of their sport that a typical academic, somebody straight in academics doesn't necessarily have. Now they may have 
you know, somebody else may have music or theater, so they might have another obligation as well. But but I think athlete, athletes between the practice time and the competitions and traveling, you know, there's a lot of time wrapped up in that. So what kind of academic support or other type of support um, do we provide to our athletes, student athletes? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> as a Division three institution, you know, like our support uh, for student athletes would be very, very similar um, to what is offered to the general student population. So uh, there's there's a writing center for all our students. There's an academic success center that works on time management and study skills and helps with tutoring, um, those types of things. I think, again, um, you know, we've found that generally our students uh, do our student athletes do better when they're in season. So actually when they have a kind of a rigid schedule and, and regimented and that type of a stuff. So uh, we feel like, you know, academics are a real positive in that regard. Um, but I think, you know, I, I just watched uh, our offense and defensive coordinator from our football team um, midterms came out um, a, a week and a half ago and they, over the course of the next week and a half, they meet with every player um, on their side of the ball and they talk through their midterms and how are you doing and what's going on. And it leads to conversations about, hey, do you need to go to counseling? Do you need to get a tutor? Um, you know, what other things are going on in life? And so I think that that's like, like in my opinion, that's the beauty and a piece of the transformation that can happen at Hope is that, hey, our coaches are, they want to win and they're trying to plan and game plan and do all that kind of stuff. But they're actually saying, hey, I'm here to help you uh, succeed and to be transformed and we're going to do that and that's the whole piece that's not just you know the competition you know um, on the field in the pool those types of things it's it's really the whole person and that's I think the beauty of hope and and I'm only really talking about our coaches but I think I see that every day with our professors um, we also have a teacher coach model. So uh, the majority of our head coaches are also professors. And so they clearly understand what's going on. Um, you know, we, I think we have eight PhD um, head coaches. And so they understand the, the, um, the draw, how difficult it is. And uh, they're working through that and making sure that they understand with our student athletes. So I, I think all of that together really uh, helps to continue to impact, um, you know, the lives of our students. Definitely. Um, and, and I think those student services are something that are really very evident on campus. Um, you know, it, it's very obvious. We try to make sure students know about them, whether they're athletes or not. All students know about the support services, writing center, um, advising sessions, anything that would be helpful to them. Um, it, it does take a little bit of initiative on the students' part to make sure that they're, you know, taking advantage of them. But um, I think we definitely do a great job of making sure that they're aware of them. Um, so. In, and I know like for soccer, for uh, I'm just picking on soccer. <laughs> so I know that it's a highly competitive to make, or it seems to be highly competitive to make the soccer team. And I know that coach, um, you know, really is talking to athletes very early in the process, like sophomore, junior year or something. He's really got his recruits in mind. He knows who he wants. So, and that's great. Um, it does cause that level, extra level of competition and earlier preparation. So what's the best way of a student trying to make a coach aware of their abilities. That's the first part of the question. The second part, should that contact come from the student or from a, a, from the high school coach or the club coach? Um, yeah, I mean, it. it I, I wish probably there'd be a one size fits all. I mean, all of our coaches are a little bit different. So you referenced soccer. So our, our men's soccer coach, um, I mean, he just wants to see the student play. So that might be either a video um, or come to one of our prospect camps um, or, you know, share, hey, here's when my club team is playing. And then he would come out and watch that. And then he would watch and be pretty honest and say, hey, yeah, you know, you're somebody that we were interested in and will pursue. Or he might say, hey, your level is not probably um, up to like what would would help our team. Um, but, you know, hope is a place that, uh, you know, is really going to be great for you. And so, you know, those are the things um, on our website um, at, at uh, hope.edu um, athletics backslash athletics. There's um, there's a recruiting tab that you can click on and fill out information. That's probably the best information you can do to get yourself in the system that will also 
um, get alerted to the coaches and then also to the admissions office. Um, so that's that's uh, one of the most helpful things. Um, but also if if you you know if there's film, um, if there's um, you know connection um, that you can get out to those coaches, um, I I think uh, you know personally at Hope. Um, I think like there's recruiting services that people, you know, are maybe paying uh, for that, you know, send out a blanket email to, you know, 50 colleges or universities or whatever. That's not overly helpful uh, for us at Hope. We like to be a lot more personal. Um, so I think like an individual reach out from a coach um, or from uh, an athlete is also very helpful. Um, and I think uh, an individual reach out from an athlete is probably more helpful than a reach out from a parent. Um, and uh, because I think that, again, just shows initiative and and things like that. And so, um, yeah, you know, I think I think all of those are ways to kind of get in the system um, and to help. You know, I'd encourage people to check out our website, check out, um, you know, uh, who, you know, who we've played, how our team teams have done. Uh, obviously, some teams have, have competed at a higher level, um, you know, national level. Some teams are just competing at the league level. You know, there's a, a variety of things. And then that changes. Some of our programs are a little bit newer. So like our women's lacrosse team is just kind of getting ramped up and up and running. Whereas, you know, um, you know, our women's basketball team has been kind of a national powerhouse for, for a number of years. And so um, you know, all of that kind of plays into sort of the coach's ability to connect, the coach's desire to uh, want. It gives you an idea of, hey, you know, who um, who you can play. Um, a lot of times you can also get um, some reference uh, by watching. There's, there's generally film available of most of our teams um, somewhere online that you could watch and that would give people an idea of the, the level of play also um, to be able to see, uh, how, you know, where they would fit. Great. And, and speaking kind of that, the, the video and the film, the other thing I thought of too is I know for like those students that are in more of an individual or a timed or a distance type sport, um, we also have kind of best times out there too, right? So they can kind of see and kind of compare maybe not obviously, but I think it shows a full range of times too. So they can kind of see where they fit, right? A little bit. Absolutely. So like, like swimming would be the case. Um, I mean, swimming is basically like really time based. Um, and so, you know, you can go online and check out what's what's happened at our league meet. Um, and that would give you an idea of, of where you would fall in that. And then also to be able to look at some of our, um, you know, some of our, our records and things like that. And then that gives a really good idea. You know, I, I can say this and I mean, I think it's fair. I mean, if, if your times are are um, comparable to what's going on, you know, definitely you should be reaching out, you know, our coaches and hopefully our coaches are reaching out to you. Um, because I think, you know, you're going to be able to, to come in and help. And, and I think we're just really convinced, not in a boastful way or whatever, that you know, if you can come on campus, this is a place that really can transform um, your life, you know, for the rest of your life. And that's really what we're striving for, even as we try to, you know, win competitions. So I think that also kind of emphasizes the fact that what the first part of the conversation emphasized the fact that with a an individual sport, I think it's a little bit easier to show where you're at because you've got a time or a distance or something that you can, you know, show stats for. Whereas in a team sport, that video comes into play a lot more um, uh, because that's where you're able to, you can't show stats as much anyway. You can on a team, but not the same type of stats, right? Yeah, definitely. And I think, you know, I mean, just to be really transparent, I mean, you know, a video that's spliced together that shows every good play that somebody has done is not as helpful as, um, a vi you know, a, a video of like, hey, here's a game where I competed really well and you see the whole game. And so you see the positives and maybe the areas where you struggled and how you responded to that and those types of things. So from our coach's standpoint, I think that that's, that's a little more helpful than, you know, the highlight clips of, of the whole year. Um, so, yeah, but yeah, definitely. Thank you.